I bring not steel, 
Offering terms of surrender then? It's about time. You misunderstand. It's Al Mualim who sends me, not Salah al -Din. Assassin! What is the meaning of this? And be quick with it! You've a traitor in your midst. And he has hired you to kill me? Come to gloat about it before you strike? I wouldn't be taken so easily! It's not you I've come to kill. It's him. Speak then! That I may judge the truth! Who is this traitor? Robert de Sable. My lieutenant! <laughs> he aims to betray. That's not the way he tells it. He seeks revenge against your people for the havoc you've wrought in Archman. And I am inclined to support him. Some of my best men were murdered by some of yours. It was I who killed them, and for good reason. Hear me out. William of Montferrat. He sought to use his soldiers to take Akka by force. Gagné de plus. He would use his skills to indoctrinate and control any who resisted. Sabran. He intended to block the ports, preventing your kingdom from providing aid. They betrayed you, and they took their orders from Robert. You expect me to believe this outlandish tale? You knew these men. Better than I. Are you truly surprised to learn of their ill intentions? Is this true? My liege. It is an assassin that stands before us. These creatures are masters of manipulation. Of course it isn't true. I've no reason to deceive. Oh, but you do. You're afraid of what will happen to your little fortress. Can it withstand the combined might of the Saracen and the Crusader army? My concern is for the people of the Holy Land. If I must sacrifice myself for there to be peace, so be it. This is a strange place we find ourselves in. Each of you accusing the other. There really is no time for this. I must be off to meet with Saladin and enlist his aid. The longer we delay, the harder this will become. Hold a moment, Robert. Why? What do you intend? Surely you do not believe him? It is a difficult decision, one I cannot make alone. I must leave it in the hands of one wiser than I. Thank you. No, Robert, not you. Then who? The Lord. Let this be decided by combat. Surely God will side with the one whose cause is righteous. If this is what you wish. It is. So be it. To arms, assassins! Assassins! <laughs> Should you cause a disturbance, it is wise to leave the Ja, 
Speak sense, Templar, or not at all. Nine men he sent you to kill, yes? The nine who guarded the treasure's secret. What of it? It wasn't nine who found the treasure, assassin. Not nine, but ten. A tenth? None may live who carry the secret. Give me his name. Oh, but you know him well. And I doubt very much you'd take his life as willingly as you've taken mine. Who? It is your master, al Mualim. But he is not a Templar. Did you never wonder how it is he knew so much? Where to find us, how many we numbered, what we aspired to attain? He is the master of the assassins. We, oui, master of lies. You and I just two more bonds in his grand game. And now, with my death, only you remain. Do you think he'll let you live, knowing what you do? I've no interest in the treasure. Ah, but he does. The only difference between your master and I is that he did not want to share. No. Ironic, isn't it? That I, your greatest enemy, kept you safe from harm. But now you've taken my life, and in the process, ended your own. Seems God favors your cause this day. God had nothing to do with it. I was the better fighter. Ah, uh, you may not believe in him, but it seems he believes in you. Before you go, I have a question. Ask it then. Why? Why travel all this way? Risk your life a thousand times, all to kill a single man. He threatened my brothers and what we stand for. Ah, vengeance then. No, not vengeance. Justice. But there might be peace. This is what you fight for. Peace. Do you see the contradiction? Some men cannot be reasonable. Like that madman, Saladin. I think he'd like to see an end to this war as much as you. So I've heard, but never seen. Even if he doesn't say it, it's what the people want. Saracen and Crusader alike. The people know not what they want. It's why they turn to men like us. Then it falls to men like you to do what is right. Nonsense. We come into the world kicking and screaming. Violent and unstable. 
It is what we are. We cannot help ourselves. No. We are what we choose to be. <laughs> Your kind. Always playing with words. I speak the truth. There's no trick to be found here. We'll know soon enough. But I fear you cannot have what you desire this day. Even now, that heathen Saladin cut through my men and I must attend to them. But perhaps, having seen how vulnerable he is, he will reconsider his actions. Yes, in time what you seek may be possible. You were no more secure than him. Do not forget that. The men you left behind to rule in your stead did not intend to serve you for longer than they had. Yes, yes. I am well aware. Then I'll take my leave. My master and I have much to discuss. It seems that even he is not without fault. He is only human, as are we all. You, as well. Safety and peace be upon you. Your assassin friends found us. What? How'd you do it, Desmond? Hey, look, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever's going on down there has got nothing to do with me. They're here for you, and I sure as shit didn't invite them. What's the situation down there? We're taking heavy fire. Can you contain it, or do I need to evacuate the prisoner? Only five or six. We've got them outnumbered. A couple of wounded, but we'll pull through. We'll get it under control. God damn you, Desmond. You couldn't leave well enough alone. I told you I had nothing to do with this. How would I even contact them? Telepathy? Come on. Doesn't matter. They'll be dead soon enough. Here, have a listen. That's been neutralized. Looks like the cavalry won't be coming. Dunno, Doc. We were freaking out a minute ago. Your little research facility not as secure as you thought it was? Worried they'll be back with more? I don't think so, Desmond. What Lucy here is trying to say is that there aren't any assassins left to come for you. We've been very busy this past year, hunting down your little enclaves, your desert communes and whatnot. I'm afraid you're on your own. Rest up, Mr. Miles. Tomorrow, we finish this. Thank you. 
Get up. Even earlier than usual, Doc. I'd like to get this over with as quickly as possible. If you say so. Don't be so glum, Mr. Miles. Today is a historic day. One that will be remembered for years to come. Remembered by some of us, anyway. When you are exposed, use sharp turns or climb over buildings to break your pursuer's line. What happened here? Where is everyone? Gone to see the Master. Was it the Templars? Did they attack again? They walked the path. What path? What are you talking about? Towards the light. Speak sense. There is only what the Master shows us. This is the truth. You've lost your mind. You too will walk the path. Or you will perish. So the Master commands. It was Al Mualim, wasn't it? What's he done to you? Praise be to the Master, for he has led us to the light. Only speak, Master, and show us the path. picked a fine time to arrive. So it seems. Guard yourself well, friend. Al Mualim has betrayed us. Yes. Betrayed his Templar allies as well. How do you know? After we spoke, I returned to the ruins beneath Solomon's temple. Robert had kept a journal, filled its pages with revelations. 
What I read there broke my heart, but it also opened my eyes. You were right, Altair. All along our master has used us. We were not meant to save the Holy Land, but deliver it to him. He must be stopped. Be careful, Malik. What he's done to the others, he'll do to us given the chance. You must stay far from him. What would you propose? My blade arm is still strong and my men remain my own. It would be a mistake not to use us. Distract these thralls then. Assault the fortress from behind. If you can draw their attention away from me, I might reach Al Muallam. I will do as you ask, Dai. The men we face. Their minds are not their own. If you can avoid killing them. Yes. Though he has betrayed the tenets of the Creed, it does not mean we must as well. I'll do what I can. It's all I ask. Safety and peace, my friend. Your presence here will deliver us both. innocence. I must be careful not to harm them. No! What's happening? Student returns! I've never been one to run. Uh, never been one to listen, either. I still live because of it. What will I do with you? Let me go. Oh, Altair. I hear the hatred in your voice. Feel its heat. Let you go? Now that would be unwise. Why are you doing this? I found proof. Proof of what? That nothing is true, and everything is permitted. Come, destroy the betrayer. Send him from this world. Ah! <laughs> 
It's ever done. This Templar treasure, this piece of Eden, this word of God. Do you understand now? Red Sea was never parted. Water never turned to wine. It was not the machinations of Iris that spawned the Trojan War, but this! Illusions! All of them! What you plan is no less an illusion. To force men to follow you against their will. Is it any less real than the phantoms the Saracens and Crusaders follow now? Those craven gods who retreat from this world that men might slaughter one another in their names? They live amongst an illusion already. I'm simply giving them another. One that demands less blood. At least they choose these phantoms. Or do they? Aside from the occasional convert or heretic? It isn't right. Ah, and now logic has left you. In its place, you embrace emotion. I am disappointed. What's to be done, then? You will not follow me, and I cannot compel you. And you refuse to give up this evil scheme. It seems, then, we are at an impasse. No, we are at an end. I will miss you, Altair. You were my very best student. Thank <laughs> you. 
possible. The student does not defeat the teacher. So it seems. You have won then. Go and claim your prize. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Then I will. We'll see about that. I applied my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. Destroy it! Destroy it as you said you would! I... I can't. Yes, you can, Altair. But you won't. got the map. How many? At least half a dozen. We don't need them all. We should assume some amount of decay. I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning. At least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist. We'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability. We only need one, after all. What about the rest? Collect them. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. Stop undermining my authority! I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. We'll be back for you soon enough. What the hell is that? I wonder. 